Good evening everyone, a very warm welcome and uh, yeah, hope everyone's doing fine. Uh, bear with me as uh, today I was actually debating whether or not I would actually do a stream because I was having quite a few headaches uh, this entire week uh, because of uh, very poor sleep. Uh, but I decided, you know, once we get into it, things uh, usually settle down and uh, through the power of some coffee, things uh, did settle down a bit. Uh, so we'll see where we go uh, from here. Uh, hey there, the Pirate Gamer Boy, great to have you. And uh, and of course, uh, Mystic F Mystic Fierge. That's the that's the word, right? Fierge, Fierge. That's the one. I keep having the urge to say the urge, but <laughs> uh, that's not how it's said. Um, before we get into things, uh, I have been messing about a bit with uh, uh, the audio levels a bit, so I do hope things sound okay. Uh, if you hear some weird audio glitches, please let me know so I uh, <laughs> please uh, so that I know how to uh, set it up in the future. And uh, Griso has been having a bit of a mood because uh, because I wasn't feeling so well i uh, i kind of forgot to give him his treats and uh, he will uh, he let me know it he let me know it so he was uh, he was in the corner there being uh, a bit mopey but uh, now that we started he figured uh, might as well come over because that usually means that he gets a treat so might as well might as well uh, you want to look like this yeah this one of fun <laughs> So uh, for today we are going to play a uh, pretty good game and a uh, uh, in general, um, which is uh, flashback. I will grab it as soon as Rizzo had his uh, little popsicle here. Grab it. There you go. <laughs> Normally I actually break it up in smaller pieces for him, but uh, uh, this is uh, also kind of fun. So yeah, today we are playing, uh, or at least starting, because I I. Even if I knew how to play this well, I doubt that we could finish this in one go. And this is Flashback on the CDI. Flashback is one of those interesting games that I don't think has any bad ports. It's a, it's a very good game in general, um, but it got ported to pretty much everything at the time. Like, even to the more obscure systems uh, like CDI, but also, for example, the Acorn uh, Archimedes. Anyone? Ever played that uh, version? I mean, that system didn't even at the time had a proper Doom port, uh, believe it or not. So you know, uh, this this beat it to it. Uh, it did get a Doom port, I think, in 1998 or something like that. But uh, this was uh, a bit uh, ahead of its time in that uh, regard. Uh, I think the CDI version came out or was developed in 1994. Uh, so it's quite a late game for CDI. Uh, and it, it, it kind of shows as well because it, it's kind of, you know, it's an actual game. Uh, and for CDI it's actually a pretty good game. Uh, also, if you find this in the US, uh, you might want to pick it up if it's for a decent price. Because I think, if I remember correctly, this was actually the final, uh, like, commercial, broadly um, uh, sold game released in the US. So it's, it's fairly hard to find the US version uh, and the US version does come normally the US games had these this slip cover uh, on these uh, dual case releases there's also a French version which is in a long box uh, which uh, I've never seen in the wild but uh, pretty cool I think uh, this is the uh, Dutch version which I think actually came out in 1995 uh, I played this a lot back then uh, it was one of my favorite uh, CDI uh, games uh, it's also the only version of Flashback I, I actually owned back then and I had uh, uh, access to. Uh, and initially I played it with this, uh, which is not ideal, let me tell you. Uh, but I, I did get pretty far uh, with it, uh, with this one. At least uh, through, I think, the third level. Um, so, you know, it is possible, but it's, it's very hard to control with this thing because it's not very precise. Uh, to draw your gun, you need to press these two buttons together, and you know, just a, a running jump is just very, very awkward. Uh, so when the controller came in our household, it was uh, very much appreciated for a game like this because it 
yeah, you need some precision with this game. Um, now there is some some good thing with the you know because this is one of those cinematic uh, platformers. CDI actually lends itself pretty decently for it because it's not required to have high action uh, platforming skills, uh, with the exception of a few areas which will probably trip me up quite badly. Uh, I have not played this in a good while, so I'm, I'm probably pretty rusty. I've only beaten this game actually once, uh, and I'm pretty sure that wasn't easy. So, uh, on that note, what would you like, guys uh, like to see? Would you like to see it on easy, medium? Uh, I'm not going to do expert because that's just asking for uh, for issues. Hey there, Lapmasi. Great to have you. How are you today? Uh, we are going over to the game side here. And, and what the difficulty does is... I'm not sure if it actually gives enemies extra health, but it does introduce more enemies yeah that's uh, that's that's right uh, the part gamer boy easy does remove a lot of the enemies and expert <laughs> adds a whole bunch more uh, and the enemies actually make this quite a difficult game uh, whenever there's multiple enemies that's when things are starting to get uh, problematic uh, also a uh, big thank you to gameplay and talk uh, this is kind of kind of crazy because just a side note here, but they for some reason the game runs on a very low frame rate, and for some reason they also <laughs> decided to put the uh, intro bumper uh, in a very low uh, frame rate. Anyway, this game got requested by uh, Gameplay and Talk uh, Austin, uh, who is an awesome guy. Does amazing uh, let's plays and long plays and uh, on very difficult arcade games <laughs> uh, which you know all those kind of stuff that I don't think I will ever be able to do like uh, one credit clear uh, for for contra the arcade game uh, no thank you uh, but yeah as you can see this game uses the um, updated graphical style which many people dislike uh, back then I didn't know better so you know it still looked quite impressive um, but of course the original had the rotoscope um, uh, rotoscoped FMVs which uh, yeah they are more stylish than this and the frame rate in this is absolutely terrible uh, this is because as the pirate game boy said this does not require the digital video cartridge and in a way it's a real shame that it doesn't because because of that the game had to make a few cuts. Um, oh, that's actually kind of funny. Uh, I'm, I'm just noticing right now, because I did test it real quick, and this game does allow you to choose your language, and this is one of the uh, earliest games I remember that actually allows you to have, uh, 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 at least when it comes to these adventure type games, that allows you to play in Dutch. And I think the only thing CDI actually saves for this game is your language selection because now it's it's not asking us for our language. Uh, so it must have saved that to memory. Uh, there is otherwise no actual save game. Uh, there is a password system which you need to use. But uh, yeah. As I said there is no not a bad version of this game I think. All versions are very playable, even the CDI version. So you know you've got a good, uh, good game on your hand with the, in that regard. Um, it's not the best version by by far. Uh, there's much better versions. I'm actually rather fond of the uh, Sega CD version myself, uh, which I don't own. But uh, it also has these cutscenes, which many people again don't like. But it has the uh, snappiness, uh, like the gameplay of the Genesis version, which is. The base version it, this game was developed for, uh, and it has uh, music added to the to the levels, and I I just love that music. And unfortunately, this game does not have much music. This is about the only music we will get. Uh, how are the audio levels, by the way? Uh, I think it's okay. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's start. Uh, as you saw that uh, Conrad, he was being chased, um, and I will just. 
try and explain some of the uh, uh, background story as we get along here. Um, and he will wake up now because of course he survived that crash. Of course he survived that. And yeah, not using the DVC makes the cutscenes real, real, real slow, which is unfortunate. Uh, and it uh, also introduces, uh, at, at least I've, I'm assuming here, that the low amount of video memory caused them to have the need to add these ugly borders to the, to the thing, to the screen. Which is a shame, because everything looks super tiny. Uh, that's that's also quite possible uh, the pirate Game Boy. I don't know. Uh, I think actually this might be ported from the Super Nintendo version uh, Just or maybe I don't know, but uh, <laughs> As you can see Conrad's shirt is actually red instead of white uh, Half the versions have him in white shirt half the versions have him in a uh, red shirt. Uh, I actually like the red, the red shirt, it looks good. Uh, for some reason they did not add that to the menu though, it's kind of weird. Anyway, with uh, button 1 we can uh, pick stuff up and every time you pick something up, you get these little scenes. Every time you hand something over you get these scenes. It's uh, it's quite ridiculous, but it does give the game a bit of a cinematic uh, feel. And we can actually look at the holo cube. Uh, where is it? Uh, there we are. By pressing by selecting it and going into the inventory is pressing down and then button 2 and by pressing button 2 you actually use your selected item hey it's me hi conrad you must be wondering how you recorded this message without remembering it good question but it would take too long to explain and time is short if you want to save your hide you must contact your old friend ian explain it all there. Good luck and watch your back, because it's my life you're playing with. So Conrad uh, recorded a message to himself, uh, you know, a bit like uh, Total Recall, uh, because his memory got wiped. It's a bit weird how this story actually plays out, because Conrad apparently is uh, part of the uh, intergalactic or galactic, I don't know, uh, federal, uh, uh, not federal, galactic bureau of investigations, uh, you know, space FBI, uh, the year is 2142, the top of my head, oh boy, we've already got our enemy here, but, uh, we can shoot him down, and he found out that uh, there'd be aliens among us by using some glasses, which is, uh, of course, another uh, famous sci-fi trope. What was the movie? Among Us? No? Uh, what was what was the movie called? I forgot. Uh, Bart Simpson versus the Space Mutants. It's kind of the same deal. Uh, I think I can drop down and then shoot him right in the face, right? Yeah, there we go. And he doesn't drop anything. The thing that I usually have trouble with in this game is that I'm an impatient gamer. So I tend to uh, shoot people down and then forget to actually collect on the items they drop. Uh, and this might be a problem. There's the stone. Yeah, I have... Uh, I do have Fade to Black. I was very disappointed with Fade to Black because I love this game so much. And Fade to Black is not that great. I think if we use the stone we can uh, throw that onto that pressure thing there. Or miss it completely. Awesome Seb. <laughs> uh... Yeah, uh, Fade to Black is the 3D version. And it's, uh, it, it's not great. It's also on PC, yeah, I never tried the PC version. Uh, we did take a hit there, it's not a problem yet. Uh, you got, uh, let me explain this real quick, you got shields, you got four shields, after that any hit will kill you. Uh, and the, the, um, 
like the the checkpoints are pretty sparse in this game so it's quite difficult to uh, get from point to point i find uh, there are also ways to recharge your shields we will come across uh, that soon and there's also some instant death hazards like this plays a lot like prince of persia and of course delphine uh suffer first made the um um uh, another world game. Oh crap! Forgot about this dude. That's uh, that's why you play on easy if you're not so so good. <laughs> uh, that guy, I'm pretty sure, is not there on easy. And uh, we can kill him. We don't really need to, but uh, might as well because killing stuff is cool. All right. So uh, if you drop more than two floors, so if I were to walk forward, we dead. So uh, be careful with that. Uh, when hanging from that distance, it is safe. But I do think if you fall from more than one floor, you do get stunned for a bit. And uh, that would just give that dude a free shot. So let's not uh, do that. These guys will go down in one hit. Uh, this will not be the case in uh, later stages where enemies become quite tanky, honestly. Uh, this uh, this green bubbly stuff, you walk into it, you dead. So uh, best avoid that. We can see there is a dude above there. But yeah, there's uh, another world or outer world. What, what was it called? I think it had a different name in uh, different regions. Uh, this uh, electric floor stuff also kills you in one hit. So you want to avoid that as well. You can run over that, by the way. You and um. So you know, if you uh, if you want to be quick about it, you can run it. Uh, this game might be fun to actually speed run. Uh, I'm I'm not practiced enough to really do that. I don't remember this game at all. Uh, so let's not do that. And here th they did that. They make Shaq Fu. <laughs> That's quite a uh, different uh, uh, game. No Griso, don't you dare. Uh, we just recharge the cartridge because I know that is needed in just a bit. Uh, so, you know, uh, we did that now. And we can also recharge our shield here, which is quite handy. So whenever we do get hit, we have a point to get back to, to uh, get our uh, shield charges up. Granted, of course, if we don't step on anything stupid. Now, I'm pretty sure I remember that upstairs uh, there is a person that needs... Uh, a teleporter so instead we are just going to first grab that teleporter and then uh, you know to save some time uh, I know you can run a lot but I find it quite difficult hey there Kaiser great to have you how are you today uh, yeah and this this is quite unique you know and it's also so so cool that the CDI version it just plays really well, actually, uh, for CDI games. It's just one of those examples that shows that uh, CDI was capable if you gave it enough love in programming, and you know, just because again, this this is playing without a digital video cartridge, so it's quite a weak sauce here. So this is why we needed to charge up the cartridge, otherwise this would not work. And that makes a uh, force field bridge appear. Pretty neat. Uh, also quite cool is if you just keep the button pressed down for shooting, you will just automatically uh, rapid fire, so you don't have to shoot. Uh, all you don't have to rapid um, fire. And you can also uh, roll whilst having your gun out, which is cool. This bridge will never uh, uh, fade out, so you know we're safe. Uh, you cannot actually jump whilst your gun is out, though, so you know you have to choose. Hey there, Edward. How are you today? Uh, and there is another electrified floor there, so we want to be careful with that. There we go. Let's go up. Uh, now I'm pretty sure somewhere in this area there is a safe spot, but I'm not entirely sure. 
where uh and this is the beginning by the way uh you know where we got the holo cube up there and i actually should just keep my uh Uh, right, so if this pressure plate is not pressed down, then we put the elevator up there, but I'm thinking, and this is one thing that I don't think is possible in the CDI version. Uh, in other versions you can place items, but in the CDI version you just need to throw it, uh, throw the stone to keep the button pressed down there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that yeah, there's another one here for if you missed that first one, which is quite nice I believe uh, you can actually end this level with three stones if I remember correctly And my memory will quickly fade as we uh, move forward because I tended to play only the first two levels mostly Sometimes the third but especially the first two levels. I think are by far the best in this uh, in this game uh, they just offer the most adventure elements compared to the rest of the game, which is more of a gauntlet uh, and enemy uh, enemies get more and more numerous and just very difficult uh, to deal with. Again, it's... Uh, can you make that? Yeah. It's... This is a save point, so let's uh, use that. Game safe. Now, it's not safe to memory. It's good to keep that in mind. Excuse me? Can't you grab that? Uh, so, when you stop, you should only stop at the um, actual level starts. Uh, let's get rid of that robot, I think. Might as well, whilst we're here. Oops, and this is a uh, key card thing, and we can't use that unfortunately because we don't have the key. And that is basically the whole uh, game loop of this game. You get to go back and forth between the screens quite often because uh, you know you need to grab the item that you need to grab the other item. There we go. And now we need to go back because we got the teleporter, so you know, that's one of those uh, examples where you just have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but at least we saved the game now, so that's good. Uh, sorry, I missed a uh, chat there from uh, Mystic Fjord. Uh Which game did you play? Uh, oh, Oddworld. Oddworld Apes Odyssey. Yeah, that is another awesome game. Love that one. Uh, really cool. Uh, a game that Reminds me most of flashback is probably Blackthorn, which uh, you know also has shooting and such, uh, which I didn't play too much, uh, but it's also really neat. Uh, there is no dodging mechanic in this game, uh, like in Blackthorn. You just have to roll and stuff, uh, which is very important in later levels, especially when there's two or sometimes even more enemies. It uh, it can get quite hard to uh, manage the enemies so anyway now we can go over here we did not get hit surprisingly so let's uh and there was a dude over there so let's draw a weapon and roll in and shoot him there we go <laughs> it's nice here that you actually get to see him they they do ease you in quite nicely into uh, uh the game mechanics in this game i find uh, all right, I need to actually The one issue I have with the CDI version is that the controls are less Responsive as uh, other versions. So, you know, especially a running jump. I find quite difficult at times. It is possible like this uh, But it is kind of kind of difficult and the game does absolutely run a bit slower Help, help. <laughs> Something else that uh, the Sega, the, uh, 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 Sega CD version actually added was glorious, glorious early voice acting for all the uh, speech in-game. 
which is another example why it's a bit of a shame that this version does not use the DVC uh, because it also limits the sound channel somewhat so I think that's why this does not have voice acting for these scenes uh, no actual music uh, it is atmospheric at least, so that's nice. Hey there, Hexquid, how are you today? Great to have you. Uh, Another World is a game that I did not play much because I actually found that very hard. Uh, the first screen kept killing me. <laughs> uh, and uh, this game gave me a bit of a chance. And uh, But yeah, the later levels of this game do get really difficult. Uh, so yeah, this is the dude that needed... Uh, uh, he got attacked by mutants, and I can't walk, find a teleporter, I mean... Did the, uh, did the dude get mugged or something that they stole his uh, teleporter, but then it was on that elevator, who put it there? Uh, that, uh, oh well, anyway, uh, let's grab the teleporter and uh, give it to him by pressing button 2. Yeah, every time you get these scenes, it's it's quite quite silly. Uh, and you know, these scenes are the most the thing that people don't like the least. <laughs> Very, <laughs> you're right, Ed. Uh, please give me the teleport. I can't walk. <laughs> and he's off. Oh, right. And this is one of those examples. Like, see how I was walking off. I tend to do that always, like, I have in my head, like, I, I have a uh, objective, give the dude the teleporter, and then move on. But, you do need to pick up the ID card to open the door. The times that I stood for that door where we were before, and was like thinking, ah crap. And I had to go back uh, again here to actually grab that freaking card. And later on in the game it gets ridiculous where some enemies drop cards, some don't, sometimes a key is in some uh, random ledge you need to climb, otherwise it's just a dead end, and it can be quite annoying. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure what the development was like for the CDI version. It's just, it's just a shame that they did not uh, include a version where the DVC was used to make the cutscenes more fluid. Uh, and... Um, yeah, and just some music. Uh, again, I... There's, there's always big debates about which version is the best. I tend to uh, like the, the Sega CD version because of that added music. However, I can also understand that people say like, well, the atmospheric sound is also nice and uh, many versions do add some music uh, in key locations where you just trigger some music. Um, but I, I really like the background music in the Sega uh, CD version. Uh, and I don't mind the silly, very early FMVs. Yeah, and Rise of the Robots. It Rise of the Robots is weird because it doesn't actually use the DVC. At least as you put it in the uh, the the CDI without the DVC, it works just as well as without. But the the box does say that it requires it for some reason. Uh, which is probably a feature that they intended to use, but didn't end up actually using. Uh, what was down here? Okay, we can... Yeah, and this, this, this game was a very big deal, wasn't it? Uh, we can open it with the keycard, right? Why aren't you, uh, why aren't you doing your thing, thing? Key lock? This, this is the right. Did I forget something anyway? No, the, the, the rise of the robots, it literally does not make a difference. It's, uh, it's super weird like that. Uh, I think that was planned, but it did not come to fruition. 
So you only have sound effects or music in the game regardless or, uh, uh, of your setup. It's really weird. Let's uh, save the game. Do I need a key? I think I need a key instead of the key card. Um, so, or the ID card. The ID card must be for uh, later on. Again, I have not played this in ages, so uh, <laughs> bear with me as I uh, find out. Yeah, this one opens. Huh. Okay. Weird. Ah, crap. I got, uh, I got hurt. <laughs> hey there, Mark. Great to have you. How are you today? Let's see if this one uh, drops a key. And yeah, this is an iconic uh, game for sure. This, this game was a very big deal. Oh no, that was a mistake. Well, we all dead. <laughs> Luckily we just saved. <laughs> Every time I, I took my, uh, I took the safe route with climbing down, but now I pressed uh, forward a bit too fast. Oh well. <laughs> uh, I think, I'm not sure if that is still the case, but I'm pretty sure this was by far the uh, best-selling French uh, game. I'm not sure if it still is the, the best-selling French game ever. Okay, let's... Uh, there was nothing there, so only press once. <laughs> and then we go down. And if you drop down somewhere, you can actually um, also grab another ledge. This, this, especially if you go from very high uh, heights, uh, this can save your ass, which is actually required in later levels. Let's uh, let's distract them with a the stone, I think. <laughs> there we go. That uh, that works well. Uh, but now that dude is uh, shooting. But if we keep low, we should be okay. Right. Uh, is there anything here? Can you even shoot this thing? No, I don't think you can. Uh, if you pick up the stone, maybe it stops. No. Oh wow, it shoots. Oh no, it's the, the acid drop. Forgot about those. The acid drops also hurt you. Everything hurts you in this game, unfortunately. Uh, Cryo interactive games from the 90s? Uh, what was from Cryo? Those were mostly adventure games, right? Uh, like Lost Eden. Oh, I think we went the wrong way. <laughs> we need to get back. To get to the new Washington, to get to new Washington, you have to jump into this hole. But, if I were you, I'd use a gravity belt or anti-G belt. Okay, where can I find one? Now I can sell you one for 500 credits, dude. Uh, yeah, we don't have 500 credits, so we need to find some money, we need to find some money. Uh, sorry, you missed uh, the chat again, uh, Mega Race, was that also from Cryo? Mega Race was a really cool, uh, FMV racer, I love that one in uh, MS-DOS. Uh, let's... Try to avoid dripping here. Can you? No. Uh, Conrad also has a pistol whip. <laughs> uh, over here. There we go. There was a recharge station, so I'm not too bothered by this. Uh, no. There we 
go. Yeah, I love Mega Race. Uh, yeah, played that quite a bit in the uh, MS DOS version. Uh, was uh, was was quite nice. I mean, it's kind of silly, but <laughs> it just added to the to the flavor, doesn't it? Uh, should we save again? Well, we're there now anyway, so might as well. So the objective for today is to uh, at least get to the third level, I hope. And if <laughs> it was a bit of a, a Looney Tunes uh, action there. <laughs> if, if we really do well, we might be able to get to Earth. But uh, I doubt I will be good enough to actually uh, complete uh, New Washington and the third level, which is uh, a real gauntlet. And even New Washington will be a challenge because there are some really challenging bits in there as well. Um, which uh, which which games in particular, Mark from uh, Cryo? I mean, I know Lost Eden is uh, one of my favorites for sure. Uh, amazing music too. Uh, all right. So. If I remember correctly, if we just hang here and then immediately go back. Or do they? Nope, doesn't work. I thought you could. I thought there was a way to actually get them to shoot each other, but uh, you know, could have used the stone again because we do have another one. Uh, there must be another stone near the. Um, uh, the turret thing. Oh wow, we are at zero shields. Good time to recharge. <laughs> yeah, Lost Eden, Mega Race. Uh, so those are the main ones I know as well. Atlantis, the uh, the adventure game. Um, is that is that also Atlantis? Is that also on PS One? No, that's Amazon. I think I have Amazon on the PS1 as uh, a adventure game. Is it also from Cryo? I remember for seeing uh, from Atlantis that it looked super super nice. Did he drop a key? No, he did not. Or money, because we need all the cash now. I think we need the ID card for this. Oh no, it's just a switch. All right, so you know, this is one of those early puzzles where they really ease you in, like some switches do something, but sometimes a, uh, a floor uh, a motion sensor will cancel that action. There will be timed traps as well eventually, which is, uh, oh crap. Uh, yeah, because you can get caught in that explosion, and that is, of course, something we do not want. Let's drop down and shoot him in the face, or in the balls, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should uh, check out Atlantis uh, sometime then. Um, you know, you, you, can, you can suggest it through the suggest uh, feature, so we can all uh, play it sometimes, because I'm bound to forget it otherwise. Uh, let's... Uh, Seems to drop twice. Yeah, and then it stops. Was there something here? No. We did not find any credits yet. If you do see something on screen that I keep forgetting and walk over, then please let me know. Uh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Duck. Oh, I guess they're not activated yet. Key. Yeah, these will be, especially in the last two levels, quite annoying. Uh, also, let me know how the uh, video comes out, because I did opt together uh, tonight again to try and stream in 50 FPS. What's this? Credits, 50. We only need uh, 10 of these. To avoid choppiness, but I think YouTube always just resamples it to 60 frames. You bastard. 
to 60 frames per second, so hopefully that will come up, out okay. Um, but I noticed that if I put uh, 60 frames per second in OBS, it, it can look pretty choppy at times. So hopefully this is better. And also this is the RGB mod. I did not select any interlacing, so I'm not sure how that goes comes out. I also changed the resolution slightly. I'm pretty sure now we have enabled the uh, turrets back then. I am just super, uh, super confused with uh, uh, all this this video formats and and crap and resolutions, and I I just never have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> So, and, and also, I, I just don't see the difference well enough. Like, I can set it to a, a different... Ooh, there's 500 credits. Like, I can set it to a different uh, um, filter and such, but I barely see the difference. So, uh, do let me know if something is uh, off, so we can improve it. I think on Twitch it should actually be 50. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. I think Twitch does allow 50 uh, FPS streaming. And what I think also happens is that once uh, I, I'm done streaming, the actual VOD on uh, YouTube is actually saved at 50 FPS as well. I'm not entirely sure, but that was be, uh, uh, would be nice. Uh, anyway, I should also try this. Uh, real quick. But because I never actually made a video on where's my mouse where'd you put the mouse cat oh there it is <laughs> uh, I never actually made a video on flashback so might as well try to uh, see if I can record some gameplay footage while we're at it so one day I might be able to make a, a video on flashback which would be nice because i saw on youtube that uh, flashback on cdi there's actually very few videos that show it off uh, and of those they are rather old yeah these dudes are now on uh, but please let me know if uh, uh, the video starts getting choppy because that means that i am just eating too many resources Hey, what's this? Oh, another credit. Cool. See, I uh, walked straight past it. If that is a key and you actually need that later on in the level, well, have fun backtracking, <laughs> which will happen. Uh, and yeah, I still did not explain much of the backstory, did I? But yeah, Kunrat uh, apparently saw that uh, aliens be afoot uh, with some type of glasses. It will get explained in a bit, but it's also in the manual. Uh, in the US, many versions actually got a neat little uh, comic book to actually explain the backstory. I think that comic was actually made by Marvel, which is uh, which is kind of cool. You know, so uh, in in the next century, uh, four will be uh, battling next to Conrad, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, did we get hit? No, we did not, so we don't need to do... We have a key now, so we can go through here. Uh, and... Yeah, the story is really weird, because apparently... Kunrad made this holocube to have the info for if he got caught. Then he did get caught. And for some reason they did not take his... Holocube away from him, or he got it back somehow, but... Uh, yeah, they wiped his memory and he still manages to escape, even though he has no memory, uh, but get out of here apparently was the one thing that he uh, remembered, and so he did. Uh, and he was, uh, for some reason, he also managed to grab that holocube, or they never took it away from him. It's super weird. I should save the game. I just know how this go. Hey there, hey retro gamers. How, uh, how are you today? And uh, welcome. I, uh, I love Flashback too. Uh, I'm not sure which version I would say is my absolute uh, favorite. I haven't played any one of them. 
but yeah, the, the Sega CD version is probably my preferred version, I think. Uh, though to the background music. But uh, I'm mostly familiar with this version. And I have not played it in... Whew, like what? 20 years or something? <laughs> And I just loved the uh, I loved the uh, um, uh, first two levels. The third level is pretty cool as well, but uh, after that it becomes really difficult, I find, and just not as like the adventure aspects just leave it a bit, and that's a, a shame. Uh, the second level we will get to that. Also, had a. Um, a very very hard section at least on CDI it's super difficult because the controls are a bit less responsive as you would like uh, so that's gonna be fun <laughs> uh, luckily that section does uh, is over really quickly too it's quite nice actually uh, but it is quite uh, difficult yeah the remake I've never played it I hear that it's uh, not as great uh, bon voyage young man So we got the uh, anti-gravity, we can uh, drop in a hole. If you normally drop into a hole, uh, you will die and you get a nice little death scene. Uh, a fade to black actually really um, is one thing that fade to black really put forward, is more death scenes. Can you actually jump this? I think you can. Uh, but yeah, now... <laughs> This is the issue with the CDI version. Oh, we don't get to go to the other side. And now you actually see the death scene, only it's extended. And yeah, there are some load times. So normally that was the death scene, but uh, now we get uh, to survive it. Uh, if you drip in the other uh, hole at the beginning, uh, yes, I tried this back in the day, uh, you still end up dying. <laughs> Uh, I think this is actually on uh, Titan, where we are now, and there it is this colony, New Washington. And apparently, uh, Conrad has a buddy here in Ian. The S SNES version is pretty good too, I think. It has some slowdown, but other than that, it's, uh, it's a pretty decent uh, version. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's go. Uh, we did save because we entered the new area here. Uh, was this this weird jump? Oh no, not yet. That's later on. Uh, that's true, that's true. The SNES version does have some censorship. I'm not entirely sure. I think the bar was changed. You can't have a bar man, can you? Yeah, this is the weird, uh, because I think if you jump here, <laughs> you actually can't make that. And uh, this was actually what made me uh, read the manual back in the 90s. I think you just need to run and he will jump automatically. No? Uh, how did this go again? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, come on. Hmm. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, you know, also much difficult uh, in, in the CDI version. Oh my goodness, come on. I thought it was just running towards the ledge where he would jump automatically, but this doesn't seem the case. Ah, okay, yeah, you need to let go of uh, the forward button. That is it. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, that, that jump made me actually read the manual. Uh, unfortunately, on the uh, European versions, we did not get uh, uh, a cool little comic book with the games. Uh, we did not kill the dude. The police there. I'm not sure why the police is actually... No, don't... No, don't... Put your thing away. That sounds really bad. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, that was not very smooth. It doesn't uh, look promising for the future. Anyway, here's Ian. Uh, thanks, Conrad. Those cops would have had my... Please, can you stop taking my shirt? <laughs> Uh, taking my height. Height is a uh, common thing that they refer to here because Conrad also was talking about his height. <laughs> well, I suppose. Uh, well, I suppose I don't remember your old pal Ian. Like, how does Ian even know this? Because I don't think it's ever explained that, like, Conrad is just taken hostage and he is replaced by a sort of replicant. It's the idea, at least, which we'll discover later. So there is no way Ian could even know this, but whatever. Take a seat, we'll fix that shortly. Like, I can understand that Ian has the uh, uh, equipment to fix it up, but uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyway, time for some backstory here. More choppy FMV. Slowly, the rays from the regenerator re-implant the memories in Conrad's brain. The end of your thesis. Classes which measure molecular density. Wow, that's half the density. <laughs> Individuals whose molecular density is a thousand times the norm. Aliens mixed in with the population. My investigations have attracted their attention. I'm no longer safe. I'm recording the hologram. Then I save the contents of my memory and send it to Eve. The kidnapping. I have erased his memory. A minute's rest. Evasion. Ah, okay, so I guess that does make sense then that Ian just got a backup uh, and probably in the message, you know, if things go wrong. How would you assume that someone is going to steal your... Uh, um memory i think in the in the backstory is actually more explained like kunrat is making a backup for if something happens to it that his information like what he discovered there uh is still you know there for people to uh to believe him uh but uh, yeah that's our uh, game complete like it's the quest uh the quest for identity we found it we're done <laughs> It's kind of weird how that subtitle goes, uh, but yeah, let's uh, talk with Ian again. Ian, what do you have to do? Uh, what do I have to do to get back to Earth? The cost of the ticket is astronomical. City. Uh, the only way. The only way would be for you to take part in Death Tower. I think Death Tower was also centered, uh, censored in the SNES version, uh, because uh, they didn't want the word death, I guess. They, they gave, I think it was Cyber Tower or something uh, silly like that. Death Tower. Yes, it's a television game. 
The winner gets a ticket. Okay, can you supply false papers? If you can supply false papers, you might as well get a false ticket, right? And anyway, I digress. <laughs> Uh, no problem, go to the bar and ask for, ask for Jack. Say, I s say I uh, sent you... Uh, oh, say I sent you, well. Oh, by the way, I put the device, uh, the force field you s I have a lot of trouble reading this font for some reason. Uh, you ask me for in your pocket. Great, thank you, William. Till the next time. Good luck, I'll be in touch when you get to Earth. Uh, I don't remember that actually being a thing. Uh, but yeah, now we have a force field, which is quite handy. Uh, if you activate it, then you have a shield in front of you that uh, blocks any bullets that are coming. Now you need to time it, of course, but uh, it can save your height quite nicely. So that's uh, pretty cool. And it's it's kind of weird how the density thing also works in those glasses because they call uh, they talk about uh, molecular density, and it's a thousand times more dense. So you would imagine that those uh, those dudes are quite heavy. Uh, you'd expect them not being able to to you know stand on any podium that is made for humans. But uh, whatever. What does uh, they do? The fuse is blown. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, this font is not uh, super nice. Uh, it's a bit squished together. Uh, not sure when we get to a recharge station, so might as well take it a safe route here. He also has a force field. Yep, enemies do get that as well. That's a weird fuse. Must be from the future. <laughs> uh, can we do the jumping thing again here? I don't know. Yes. Yeah, so you have to let go uh, of the directional pad as you approach the, uh, the ledge. It's kind of kind of confusing. Uh, that should now work. Let's just start. Also, every time you enter a new level, uh, the items that you need for the new level are removed, so we can no longer distract enemies by using uh, stones, because they got uh, they got eaten up. Uh, oh yeah, button one. And I always really enjoyed this level. It's just this level really does good uh, world building. This is a neat place, you know. Feels really lived in, and I'm I'm a bit, uh, I was a bit sad that in the later levels don't have this amount of polish. And uh, yeah, we can we can talk to dudes. Frizo, what what are you doing? <laughs> you most don't see mu say much, but you know it's still cool. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> still nice, you know. Uh, we can't go there. That will open up later on. There's a whole lot of uh, closed off areas and we are fairly safe here for now because this is a city there's not many uh, enemies about you know welcome to New Washington young man here is a map the city which you may find useful thank you did we get a map can we use that yeah we can let's see Asia Yes, spaceport. I think that's where we are now. America. Africa only has a restricted area. Africa. I think there's also the workstation there, of course, and travel agency in America. Europa. And Europa is uh, oh, Europa is the job center. Okay. So Africa really doesn't have much going for it in there. And now we go to uh, to the subway. <laughs> oh no, we're missing it. There is some slowdown here. Did we did we get on? Can we please? Oh, that's the map again. Dang it! And we did miss it. Great. <laughs> 
Luckily, they uh, they do come and go pretty quickly. But yeah, there is some slowdown in some uh, areas. There we go. Uh, job center was in. Uh, I have no clue where. Where was the bar? See, I'm already lost. Where was the bar? Because that's where we need to go, right? Oh, this just shows you. Uh, <laughs> where was the bar? America. Ah, America. Yeah, uh, we have the bar here. Of course. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's find Jack here. It's a lot of uh, restricted areas. These will open up for uh, missions quite soon. One at a time. This level can take a while. Um, I think a good run of this game, you can complete it uh, in, in about one and a half hour. Uh, but that's on the Genesis version, which runs much faster than this one. And of course it assumes that you actually know where to go exactly, which I don't. Uh, especially in the later levels, this will become very apparent. Again, these... these you can't talk to the barman here, or that man at the bar, I should say. But you can't talk to the barman. Uh, and I think in the SNES version, he was called a waiter because barman is just such a bad word. I'd like to speak to Jack. Oh, yeah? Jack's not here. I've been sent here by my friend Ian. Okay. Jack's waiting for, for you outside. Yeah, I'm nowhere near the end. I'm glad that we even uh, uh, got to uh, through the first level as fast as we did. Only died once by a very stupid idea, uh, stupid mistake. Uh, but you know, it was um, right next to a save point, so not a big deal. Are you Jack? Forger. <laughs> I'm Jack. You're after some false papers. Yep. Yes, and as quickly as possible. 1500 credits? Are you kidding me? 1500? Yeah, I'm taking a big risk here. Hey Mark, uh, have a great evening. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, take care. Uh, yeah, I'm taking a big risk here, but I don't have enough. Go to the employment office. You'll find work there. And come back to me when you get the money. 1500 buckaroos. Did it actually save our money? Nope. We did have some left over from uh, uh, the previous level, but even that got taken away. Go figure. Uh, I think over here there is nothing. Nope. Also for later, I think. Oh boy. And luckily when uh, stuff gets real in this level, then the save point usually isn't too far gone as well, because uh, the way this level is structured is that you get a mission, you complete the mission, you get back, get the mission, and the save point, and I think also recharge station is right next to where you get uh, the jobs, and if I remember correctly, you also get warped back to the job center. So the game is quite uh, convenient that way. go uh, now where was the job center I think that was in Europe right so let's skip Africa and if you press a button you will uh, uh, get off of the train or whatever these things are there you go another restricted area and those are basically the areas where uh, uh, you go for the missions uh, what's this? coin slot? what do you need a coin slot for? good morning, good morning <laughs> 
I mean, they, they, not much was left, uh, would have been gone if they would have left those uh, little interactions out there, but, you know, it's still neat. You must have a permit in order to work. You can get uh, one at the admin center. Uh, where's the admin center? Uh, and yeah, this is the job center, and as I said, there is a save point and a recharge station right here. So that's nice. It will save the game. You never know. Might drop into some stupid elevator shaft or something like that. Uh, the admin station uh, must be in Africa then. So we have to go all the way back. No, don't go that far, Conrad. And it's, it's kind of a shame that the game starts off with this really cool premise for a story. And apart from these first few levels, it doesn't do a whole lot with it. Um, which, you know, I, I really find like once you get to Earth, things start to uh, get a bit underwhelming when it comes to the actual story. The game is still fun. Nice, uh, uh, you know, platforming, uh, puzzling, like uh, Prince of Persia, like uh, Out of This World and all those cinematic uh, uh, games. It, it's just, the story gets a bit of a backseat and uh, that's a bit of a shame. But there will already be a very tough part in this section uh, as well, in this level. And hopefully we can get through that, but it will probably take me a few tries. <laughs> this should fall the elevator, right? Oh, or is it already here? Oh, it's already here. Uh, I think there's also the travel agency, right? Yeah, I think you can actually just buy a ticket as well, uh, but... Uh, what was it? Oh, you they already initiated the... Uh, um, what's it called? The, uh, the mission for some reason. But yeah, you can also get some bit of dialogue here uh, about uh, a ticket to Earth. We will find that later on. I think it's like 5,000 credits. Uh, have you played the SNES Shadowrun? As well, uh, I have a bit. I found it very hard uh, to to play it, so I've never gotten too far in it. Uh, it's it's quite quite nice. Um, just for me, it's it's it's. I found it really difficult to uh, to get far into it. Uh, like the combat is just pretty rough. I'd like the work permit, but it does a great job in um, uh, world building Shadowrun. Probably the same. I don't have no, not the same. Okay, first floor. Let's go to the first floor. This this part always reminded me a bit of a uh, uh, part in the Asterix and Obelix uh, bits where they did a uh, little funny on the bureaucratic nonsense. I'd like a work permit. No, it's not here. See window C. Okay. I'd like a work permit. No, it's not here. See window B. <laughs> every time, every freaking time when you go to uh, uh, to to some government window, you get this right. Uh, fill in this form for that form, so you can order the right form, so you get get in get into the line to get uh, the proper form for the actual thing you actually want to go for. <laughs> uh, good. Okay, you can see the boss now. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> good to see that they didn't solve that in the future yet. I'd like a work permit. There's no problem getting a permit. I need your ID card. Uh, we do have an ID card. It's not ours, so you, you would imagine that would be a problem. Uh, show the ID card. Work permit just says it <laughs> right on the card. And that's it. Didn't really do a 4 check on the ID, I guess. Some administration here. <laughs> and now we go back to the workplace. 
like again this is a lot of back and forth which is uh, most of the game just as you go back and forth back and forth uh, between key items and such which can be kind of annoying but um, for this level I don't mind it because you know it, it's it's neat world building it kind of makes sense as you go uh, from one place to the other Uh, what, no, wait, wait, was Europa, right? It's Europa that had the uh, workplace, I think. Yeah, again, the, uh, the, the world building in the SNES version is really awesome. Uh, also in the uh, the Sega Genesis version, which is totally different, is uh, is quite neat. But it's one of those games that I never got far in, um, and probably. Oh wait, I need to actually ask him if we can work. I guess. Look, I got I got the work permit. Oh, you don't have to show it to him. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's uh, why LPs are a thing also, you know, when the games are too hard to play yourself, you just check someone else's uh, workout, who's better suited for that kind of game. Um, Mission Scanner, I think you have to insert it in here. I think... Well, let me hold that pot for now. Mission validated. Oh, we did... Oh, you first need to check the mission. Receipt of parcel at the Spaceport Station Asia and transportation to Titan Travel Agency Station Africa. I think this is one of the exceptions where the new cutscenes kind of work okay. Because it is a computer terminal you uh, uh, deal with here. I keep wanting to jump, but it's not working, I think, because it's an elevator. Uh, but yeah, so we need to grab a parcel and then give it to the dude who already wanted it. Like, that's some travel agency. Every customer that comes in, do you have it? Do you have the parcel? <laughs> oh. Uh, Grizo just opened the door again, so just a moment as I close it. Oh no, don't miss the, the train. There we go. Uh, Asia, that's where we needed to go. To the spaceport. I'm assuming customs. Hey, my man. I'm the messenger. Oh, well, here, take this parcel to the travel agency. And be careful, it's valuable. We don't have to be careful. This mission uh, doesn't have any shenanigans yet. So now we go to, where was it, Africa? And this will only get us 100 credits, so you know, still got a way to go. It would be sweet if we could finish the third level uh, in this uh, session here. Uh, but that's assuming that I can get past this level in its entirety uh, in between two hours at least. The third level is a bit shorter, uh, but it's also much more difficult. It's uh, it's, it's very combat focused. Oh boy! Where did he come from? I do not have the force field uh, equipped, so you know. 
problem. Are you? Is he dead? Ah, uh, he's dead. Where did they come from? So I guess there was shenanigans uh, afoot here. <laughs> Forgot about that. Again, it must be because it's on uh, medium instead of hard. Uh, or, or easy. And that's that. First 100 credits in the pocket. You earn 100 credits. Sweet. Only 1400 to go then, huh? Uh, I thought we actually got warped to the workstation, but I guess not. Uh, can we buy a ticket to Earth now? How much is a ticket to Earth? 50,000 credits! Yeah, we're not gonna work that much. <laughs> that's, uh, that's quite steep. So, back to Europe it is. Uh, those switches, by the way, are for uh, calling the elevator in the event. Can I get on? There we go. In the event that it's not there. Europa. Let's go. So I'm not sure if anyone has ever managed to get stuck in some way. Uh, but the game does a good job in preventing that, I think. Of course, knowing gamers, then uh, probably they managed to figure a way out to get themselves soft locked. And the second screen is uh, always working. Uh, I do not have a Nintendo Switch uh, yet, maybe sometime. I'm just not much of a. Uh, mobile gamer in general and there are some games I'm interested in but uh, you know you only got so much money and my backlog is already so full anyway so escort a VIP to the research center the VIP will wait for you at the entry to restricted area 2 you'll need to be armed as the area may be dangerous Three hundred credit credits. That's more like it. Uh, and yeah, I think this is way more combat focused. So let's recharge that one hit that we uh, lost there. Uh, shield. Oh wow, we we took a bunch of hits. When did that? Oh, at the beginning. Right, right. I forgot about that. That disastrous show off uh, with the two coppers at Ian's place. And let's get the force field out. I tend to forget that I have the thing, but uh, you know, it's good to be prepared. And uh, we are at least now saved. So, you know, if we happen to die, we will respawn here and uh, don't have to do all the things again. There we go. I think you can also do a quick roll. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. There is a, a good bit of control but uh, I'm not very <laughs> practiced in it unfortunately uh, seeing these uh, seeing people who actually run the game regularly go through this is quite you know with all of these these kind of cinematic uh, games it, it looks super fun and cool uh, when someone knows what they're doing and how they blaze through uh, uh, the platforming sections uh, we need to go to Africa right I keep forgetting <laughs> Escort the VIP. We should just open the door again. Yes, he went for. Uh... Oh, Africa! We need to get off. <laughs> Guess he went for a bit of a drink. Or some food, or some complaining, I mean it is Griso. Uh, hmm. 
this is a uh, restricted area too, so this was not the area I guess that we needed to go to. Uh, I thought it was Africa, or is it up here? Nope. To this side? Nope. I just saw the thing and I already managed to forget where we had to go. Awesome. Well, it wasn't Europe. <laughs> uh, so we can skip this one, I'm sure, and then we'll just... Uh, I, I just don't know. <laughs> Just check the next stop, I guess. <laughs> Already lost. It's gonna be uh, fun in the later levels. Although the later levels are a bit more linear uh, in their progression. There's still some back and forth thing, but it's not as open uh, as, as this place. No, definitely America then. In the train. We did not get on the train. <laughs> or it could be next to the uh, what's it called? The spaceport guy. Can we, can we get on? There we go. So it might actually be in Asia after all. Oh man. If it's not right here, then it's in Asia. It's not right here, so it's in Asia. Uh. Barely made it. The slowdown doesn't help there. Africa. Did anyone uh, play the, the um, remake of Flashback? What were your thoughts on that? I never checked it out myself. It didn't look too appealing to me. I did not like the uh, uh, the graphical design. Sometimes, yeah, you know, these simplistic graphics, they, uh, they hold up much better than those 3D renders that just make stuff blend in way too much with each other. At least I find that is the case. So it must be all the way over here then, right? Nope. Uh, excuse me, where is it? Was it below here? I don't think so, right? Is this... <laughs> nope. Go back up. Go back up. Hey there, Austin. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? And uh, thanks again for uh, suggesting this one. Uh, yeah, and that was based on your suggestion. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I love the CDI version. It's uh, it, it's pretty good. Uh, but I have not played it in such a long while that I have no clue where to go anymore. Also, you know, keeping track of what the things actually say would help. This is two. Where is restricted area one? Is it upstairs here? No. Uh, also not to the other side, I don't think. No. Doesn't do anything. I 
thinking what the bar was actually called in the SNES version. I'm pretty sure the barman was a waiter, but I think they also changed the word bar there uh, to something else. I'm not entirely sure uh, to what. It's those weird sensors uh, of Nintendo. <laughs> And I'm also not really sure why they have Conrad's shirts a different color in, in different versions, like the red and the white. Yeah, CDI does have a lot of slowdown in the game. It's. Uh, it, it's a shame, but. You know, for a CDI game, this, this is a pretty solid game for CDI, I find. No, not here. <laughs> uh, is it actually in Europa then? Because that's the only place we haven't checked now. And it's just such a shame that they did not uh, use the power of the DVC, damn it, <laughs> uh, for this game to help it a bit. Uh, there's also a prototype dumped for this game. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any changes in that, but it might be worth to check that out sometime. But yeah, I would have loved to see those uh, cutscenes more fleshed out and it's a uh, restricted area free we need one where the heck is it that's uh, that's the death uh, battle thing how am I missing a freaking wait might as well right <laughs> yeah, with the game gun. I uh, <laughs> if you're if you're up for a challenge, then uh, that would be come on, that would be awesome. <laughs> I mean, there are some really really silly uh, uh, gamepad challenges out there. I'm just going to check because I'm getting so annoyed now where I can't find the freaking area. Where is it? Just tell me. Africa. It's the first place I went. How did I miss it? Seb also find, always finds a uh, way to mess up the, the playthrough, don't you worry. <laughs> of course it's the final stop. And just watch as I uh, die horribly to the enemies there. I think this is the first mission that gets uh, a bit dicey. Although not too much yet. Yeah, this is this is two. We need one. Where is one? Can't go there. Where the heck is? There is nothing here, man. Uh. Yeah, because this won't open now. Man, this is... It did say Africa, right? 
And this is to call the yeah to call the elevators. How am I missing a complete area? That is it. <laughs> Yeah, the sprites have been shrunk down a bit. I'm not sure why. Uh, as the Pirate Gamer Boy uh, explained, it might be because the uh, the original ports were at a lower resolution than what the CDI can produce, uh, which added the borders. I'm not entirely sure. This is not it either. Man, how am I missing the restricted area 1? Where the heck is it? I feel completely silly now. This has restricted area 3, right? No, this is 1. Damn it! <laughs> but, uh, but where's the dude? We need to open it with the work permit. I don't think so. Nope. Wait a minute, is the guy in Africa and do you need to talk to him? Is that maybe what's happening here? <laughs> that must be it. Otherwise I don't know, these, these switches don't do anything. It did say Restricted area one, right? Man. And this is the level that I kind of knew still. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome when, uh, when we get to Earth and beyond. Although again, you know, there's less uh, searching in those later levels. Uh, because the path is much more linear. Uh, Africa. It said Africa, so there must then be someone here that is the dude. And then you go to the... I just don't remember. Uh, let's try here. Oh, wait. I think I know what happened. <laughs> I think I know what happened. <laughs> and no one said anything. <laughs> Come on guys, you, you guys need to help me. <laughs> I don't have the smart capacity to, to actually make good decisions. What didn't I do? I, I, I forgot to put the work permit into the computer. <laughs> oh man. That's why it's not open yet. Well, that's a nice uh, 20 minutes wasted. <laughs> oh, I see. If you... Uh, you don't have to keep the button press down. I'm slowly starting to remember how these things work. Yeah, this, this is, like Austin, this is also the thing that I mostly get tripped up in this game by just, you know, forgetting to have one of those 
triggers or forgetting some random key that's uh, that's uh, that's somewhere laying around uh, that tends to cause most frustrations for me and getting to a point and then you need to go all the way back to get the bloody key and sometimes in the later levels they are uh, you know, in, in, there's some random ledge and throughout the most of the game you learn that most dead ends they are not worth uh, pursuing but in that final level there are a few that are just on some random ledge that you need to explore every freaking place to find all the keys it's quite annoying um, once you know where they are uh, I do not need to go here I need to go this is the one right mess <laughs> Once you know where, where you need to go, it's not as bad, but, you know, I haven't played this in ages, so uh, <laughs> I expect more of this uh, of these problems to pop up as we go. But, you know, that's kind of the fun as well, I suppose. And I think, you now because the, the game is fairly slow-paced, it's not here yet. Uh, no, the thing that said Africa, right? So... <laughs> Here we go again. Because it's so slow paced, it does work fairly well on CDI still. Because you don't need the uh, most responsive controls for a cinematic uh, platformer like this. This is not your Super Mario world. There we go, finally! Jeez! <laughs> Okay, buddy. Uh, lead on, young man. Take me to the research center. Okay, will do. It just uh, follows you around, but he cannot drop down, so you need to uh, just help him along with some elevator. It is an escort uh, mission for sure. Uh, I think as long as he is on your path, there's no danger. But here we need to open this door. So, you can expect that there is an enemy right past the screen. Oh. Well, there is a mine there. Uh, mines are not instant death. They take up uh, one shield. But, you know, it's still safe to... Uh, best to just jump over them. Uh, enemies are also happy to just walk straight into mines if they uh, want to get to you, so it's, it, that is very good to keep in mind if there are enemies about and there is a mine just place yourself behind one and they will happily uh, happily kill themselves through the power of the mine, which is quite handy and yeah, if you are not close by this dude, he will wander off, I think, so you just need to take it easy and slow and go screen for screen, there we go Ah, we have the enemies. Awesome. Looks like there's also an item there on the floor. So we do need to drop in here and... Uh, I guess pistol whip him? There we go. Uh, there wasn't even the sound effect. Why not? Uh, the pistol whip does just as much damage as the gun. I think this game does not work with actual damage. Uh, it just works with hits and enemies. Same as you take a certain amount of hits. Uh, and that can be just one, like this dude. It can also be up to, I think, five or six. And I'm not entirely sure if... Uh, oh, that's a key thing. We have a key. Oh boy. How did that miss us? Well, not complaining. Not sure if uh, the difficulty actually makes enemies have more hits in them. I think not. I think the only thing the difficulty does is just add more enemies. Uh, and we are playing on normal now. I'm pretty sure that I only beat this game on easy. <laughs> so that's going to be real fun in the later levels. Where it's getting uh, full with enemies. Uh, these dudes are quite annoying. 
They do hone in on you as soon as you... Oh, I thought they would actually come down here. They do not. So, let's quickly draw a gun and shoot them from a distance. If they get too close, it's, uh, it's quite hard. Because as you can see, they take quite a few hits. And up close, they will, uh, they will be a pain in the ass to beat uh, with your gun. But you can stun lock them. At least when there's one. When there is more, you know, you really want to take them out from a distance. Uh, as you shoot one, the other one will get... Um, Uh, closer to you So if you don't have the room then eventually they will close up on you and uh, murder your ass So we got another key. What's that? What, what, what's wrong Griso? What do you want? You want treats again, I guess <laughs> It's not helping cat It's not helping all well, the doors are open now Except for this one, but we've got a key so let's use the key. Not sure how many enemies are still below. Uh, would prefer not to do this section again because you know it takes quite a while. Uh, also because CDI is just a bit slow compared to other versions. So it takes a while. Thank you for your help. Uh, I arrive safely and there's no longer any danger. Cool. Mission completed. You earn 300 credits. Nice. 11 under to go. <laughs> there's nothing there, I guess. Uh, I think if we... Yeah, now we get teleported. Cool. Uh, so we did not actually waste any shields, so let's save the game and get to our next mission and let's not forget to put in the work permit what is this one? a model cyborg 2.1 duplicator has escaped we believe it may have had outside assistance your mission is to find it and eliminate it before the virus controlling its bio brain can multiply. You will be supplied with a photograph of the individual. Be careful, this machine is dangerous. Yeah, let's not forget this time. Uh, where is this dude again? I. If I remember correctly, this dude is actually, uh, or you initiate this mission. Mission at validated. The bar, I think. What, uh, what, what response was that? Uh, rest in pieces, awesome game. Or you know, for a quick bit of fun, it's a good, uh, good, a good game. And yeah, it's fun because you are one of the uh, the few other YouTubers who actually. Does some decent uh, coverage of uh, CDI. There's not many of us uh, around, unfortunately. Why did all the? Oh, because we uh, warped. We teleported away. And do you have any plans on uh, any any CDI stuff in the future? I've never tried it with the uh, with the game gun, so I don't know. I imagine it does because it it just basically does uh, uh, the same with as all controllers. It just translates mouse movements. So the bar was in America, so I don't expect it to function really nicely. You can't aim at the actual objects, uh, which would be nice, I suppose. 
We uh, we had that one stream where I tried it with the mouse on your advice, which is uh, also quite nice, but it did feel a bit slow in compared to the joypad. Uh, on Sunday, I actually tried the uh, the mouse on another uh, breakout kind of game. I'm not sure if you have that one, but that actually worked really well. I still have it here now. Uh, on this one. Uh, what's it called? Du -du -du -du. Blockbuster, uh, which worked really well with the CDI mouse. I mean, still not probably worth to play the game, but uh, you know, it's a thing. Uh, I know that guy, he's uh, a friend in the police. Where can I find this? Go to restricted area one. I think he is on duty there. But be careful, those guys are mean. Mean the coppers. Yeah, The Apprentice also such a cool game, but for the life of me, I cannot complete that game uh, without cheats. That's just... Uh, wait, before we do that. Uh, because I'm pretty sure the cop will send you back here. So let's see if we can save some time. No, dude is not here yet. So we ended up just wasting time. <laughs> Yeah, it is unfortunate. Yeah, the apprentice for the life of me. I cannot um, finish that game without infinite lives, for example. That is, it's so like the first three levels. They are doable. Oh, it's right here. Um, but then afterwards, it becomes super, super difficult. Uh, especially the ice tower is uh, is just a pain in the ass because of the ice physics, and the final level where you fly the toy tower uh, thing. Uh, super difficult as well, and the uh, uh, the end boss also really, really the hard. Uh, wants to make a deal with me? Well, we are supposed to shut him down, right? We'll be waiting behind the bar. That's where we just were. Behind the bar in my book means the barman, but uh, he's actually meaning the screen past the bar. I'm not sure if this is actually... Okay. No. Uh, if this is actually because the RGB mod, but... For some reason my controller seems to be a bit more responsive, which I didn't really demonstrate well there. <laughs> um, but it looks like it has less lag than it did before, uh, which is interesting to note. Don't shoot, I'm not the thing. <laughs> uh, his hideout is down below. So now we get a bit of Blade Runner going in as well, a lot of uh, uh, inspiration from sci-fi uh, movies and, and works. Uh, all right, so it's back to the old copper. Apparently, it's a dirty copper again. <laughs> so, is he ready to fight? He sure is. Whip him. Oh shit, I have the uh, permit selected. That's no good. Should put the force field on. Key. It's kind of a weird looking key as well. It just looks like a, uh, a slab of plastic or something. Key. Uh, we are. Two health down. Uh, wait, where's the? Where do we go for the actual level now? It was in free, right? Do we need to go back here? It's 
If I'm thinking, should we go back to recharge our health or should we just make it? Uh... Oh, uh, I thought I had the key selected. What the heck? Uh, excuse me, where's the key? Oh wait, it's used up and the floor opened. This didn't say anything. <laughs> oh good, there is a safe uh, thing here. So yeah, we don't need to go back to recharge. We can we can survive with uh, we've got three hits basically. Should be good. Should be good. There he is. Oh, there they are, I guess. Oh, crap. Zoof back again. Here we go. Don't walk past me, dude. Not when I have my gun out. You could have whipped us, but nope. You earn 400 credits. Yeah, I, I definitely need to <laughs> brush up on my uh, gun skills. <laughs> because this is not looking promising. Oh dear. Oh dear. I think the next mission is going to be uh, trouble. <laughs> Uh, shields. Let's recharge that. Not that it matters much. Because uh, the next section will have instant death all over. You need 1500 uh, credits. 1500 credits is what we need for. We need uh, two more missions, I do believe. And this next one is a doozy. This is probably going to take me a few tries. The generator which supplies New Washington is encountering serious problems. A maintenance check has revealed that one of the three boards on the main computer has been altered. Your mission is to replace his board. However, you will have only one and a half minutes before the whole installation self-destructs. The teleport on the level below will take you directly to the heart of the complex. Kind of curious how this whole system works, you know. Uh, the generator is about to blow. Please insert your work permit to valid validate your uh, going to work on this job. <laughs> what happens if no one wants it? <laughs> the whole station will blow up. Uh, anyway, let's let's go. <laughs> and yeah, there is a timer here. It's fairly strict. Uh, and the CDI version unfortunately has a lot of slowdown and this this place is full with death traps so uh, uh, instant death areas so this is probably going to take me a while to actually get through because I don't know how to uh, um, how this one goes exactly this is a bit of an obstacle course Let's see what we can do. So far so good. Uh, can you make that? Yes, you can. This game... Uh, you only have one life and then you respawn at the save point. And sometimes the save points are quite far apart. And there is no way to save your game uh, to the actual CDI's memory. So if you're exiting the game within a level, you will actually 
uh, have to start over from the beginning, which is kind of weird because CDI could do that. I'm I'm taking way too long, I think. But I'm kind of exploring uh, the level, but uh, I don't think we will have enough time. Now the levels, when you know what you're doing, aren't too long. Uh, do I need to go on there? Yes, I need to grab this. I think. Can we drop down here? Uh, no. Oh, I remember now. You need to throw the stone into the thing. I think. Oh, well. <laughs> Does this start us at the... Uh... Yeah, so good thing we saved just here. Yeah, this is kind of trial and error. It's it's kind of difficult. Uh, like usually, it's a bad idea to just drop down, but because I was so close to running out of time anyway, figured you know might as well try it out. Ooh, that was uh, hmm not. Don't really agree with that uh, <laughs> hit there, but oh well, we'll be fine. Huh? Did not know that you could also hold crouch in the uh, without the gun. That's interesting. Learn something every well, basically uh, ten minutes or so about this game. <laughs> Oh no! How did he survive that? He jumped straight onto that electrified floor. Uh, pretty sure, Halston, and it will be much longer. Oh, there is a floor, uh, a, a sensor on top of that platform. Should have tried that first. Uh, but yeah, it will be a while before I actually complete this thing, I'm sure. Uh, where is it? Oh, time four. Holy crap. Where's my thing? No. Map, gun. Terminal card. Is that it? Luckily, time is still. Did we do it? I think we just got it in time. I was not at the right terminal. <laughs> uh, yeah, time is standing still when you're in the menu. That's awesome. But uh, that was four seconds when we were in the menu. So that was real, real close. Kind of surprised it only took us two, uh, two tries. That's neat. I remember uh, that being giving me a lot more trouble than it uh, did this time. But again, <laughs> I remember doing that thing that part of uh, the game with this thing and that is quite a bit more difficult uh, just so we don't have to recharge it again if I die because uh, we have one more mission to go before we have enough monies and this mission is The restricted Area 3 has been invaded tonight by a colony of mutants. We fear they will attack the population. It's quite a lot. The is to clean up this zone. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do... Uh, what area did it say, actually? I, I did not pay attention, of course. Uh, I just knew quickly uh, check it out before I start wasting the more time again Europa okay got it uh, permit permit and yeah this is uh, this is a bit of a combat mission 
don't actually remember too much of it, but I do hope not all blips are actual enemies, because that's quite a lot. And as I've already optically demonstrated, I'm not very practiced in how the combat works in this game yet. I shall be learning it the hard way, I am sure. Still not sure what the, the the coin thing is for. Coin slot. Oh boy, here we go. I think it's also here where you get more of those warpy guys that uh, take a bunch more hits and they walk past you. Nope, these are the normal dudes. Uh, do we have stone still? Yes, we do. Doesn't face them. Doesn't face them at all. Are you safe? There you go. How? How did I not kill any one of them before uh, they hit me? Oh well. Anything you drop, buddy? Not oh, just a stone. I'm not sure if that's going to be much use. Uh... No. Wow, that was messy again. <laughs> uh, did you drop something? Yeah, I'm always going to check now because I know, I know that was the, the worst thing that happened to me all the freaking time. That's cheap. That's real cheap. Uh. <laughs> Double KO. Uh, we're not uh, doing so hot on health. I'm not sure how you can actually avoid those. Uh, anything down here we need to know about? Probably not. Key lock. We did not get a key, did we? Did I still manage to not pick up a key somewhere? Uh, no, let's keep it on the force field. Only have one more shield. This is not going well. So, which one of you dudes dropped a key? Oh, there's one guy upstairs here, so he must have it. Yeah, how are you going to do that? I don't think you can... Nope, you can't... can't actually climb up. And we did. All right, let's uh, let's do that better. Luckily, there was a save point right here. Uh, so also, if you happen to close, uh, let that timer run out, you are uh, you're out of luck, and you just have to restart the entire level again. So it's it's real good to keep that in mind. Let's try this, I guess. Can you please draw your gun? There we go. I think what I want to do here is just drop from this side. Uh, 
and as we drop use the force field and for some reason uh, the force field Well, he didn't shoot for some reason. That uh, that was kind of weird. But yeah, this dude is uh, is a bigger problem. Ah, damn it! I'm just not quick enough. Uh, how do you do that? Good timing on the force field. Uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe I should have uh, uh, tried what uh, Hex Squad said and actually throw the stone down there. Maybe it would have distracted him. I'm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But we're not out of the woods yet. Uh, but we can try the stone here because uh, we're pretty much one more hit and we're dead. So I'm not sure. Uh, where's my stone? Oh. Don't have my stone, huh? Great! Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> and they just go back to business as usual. Uh, did I pick up a stone here then? I'm pretty sure I had a stone just b before. No, it's not here. Huh. Oh, there's the stone. Okay, good. No! <laughs> uh, and I was worrying about the the, <laughs> the other section. I don't remember this giving me much trouble at all. Alright, the stone. I wanted to jump, but uh, Kuna was just like, nah, let's just walk down. Oh, the, the force field seems to work on both sides. Okay, so I just need to get really used on how to work the... Uh, the force field uh, but that's kind of a tricky thing on CDI because button 1 is the gun button 2 is the force field button 1 and 2 is to put your gun away so that's kind of annoying yeah there we go uh, so let's try the stone Doesn't bother him at all. <laughs> all right. We are learning. Let's try the stone on these dudes. Just they must have given it us for a reason, right? Nope, doesn't do anything. Q 
do, do, do. where are you? E. It's kind of nice when a when you use an item and it's uh, removed from your inventory, you automatically uh, go back to the previous item you had, which is uh, nice because that usually is your force field. Oh, I need to... I guess that's uh, one of those pressure plates that uh, will only function when there is something on there. What are sure? Force field just always activate when pressing button 2. Could be. No, wrong button. Oh, forgot that thing was there. Wow, we're standing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, can I make that jump? I guess we can. Ooh, hoo, hoo. do not like. Okay, up. There's a pressure plate thing. Do you drop a key? You do not. I'm just paranoid that I forget the A key. Uh, is this one we also need to hold down with a stone? I do not know. Let's for now assume that it just activates like the... Yeah, okay. Nice. Why is that turret there? Do we need to get back here at some point? Oh god. Yeah. We do. There is a uh, an item on the floor there. And I'm pretty sure once we collect that, this thing will activate. Oh, it's at activated now, I think. Come here, buddy. Oh. Of course they shoot back. <laughs> kind of assume that uh, they all die in one hit, but these police uh, dudes, they do not. They take a few mir uh, more. Okay, so there's probably another key. Yep. Shouldn't be too long now more. Uh, you know, the level should be over soon. It's cool. Uh, and again, sorry for the silence in the actual game, CDI, for some reason. Uh, oh no. For some reason, does not have the uh, audio tracks at all, which is unfortunate. Uh, really, what for me makes the Mega CD version so much. Where am I? Oh, there I am. How much health do we have? Uh, can't take another hit. That's uh, that's bad news.
really need to get better at this uh, fighting. Uh oh. Yeah, I get that people prefer the, the earlier uh, Genesis version for the cutscenes, but I'm more, in, you know, thinking that, well, you're more in game than in the actual cutscenes. Yeah, the, the video output on those cutscenes in the Mega CD, those are king of dittering, aren't they? <laughs> but uh, yeah, just a bit smooth. Still, it's not as smooth as you might want it to be. I'm sure it could be smoother still, but yeah. Anyway, we have uh, we have 1500 credits. Yeah, the 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 original uh, cutscenes they are just more stylized, I find. So I get that people don't like these as much. Uh, I'm I'm more impartial because it's uh, well I I mostly used to this game, so you know these uh, cutscenes were the ones that I used uh, used to most. So I'm not too offended by them, but I can very much imagine someone who played the Mega Drive version is. Uh, what time are we uh, living in? <laughs> Uh, half an hour left. Well, we can go a bit over time. So yeah, that's uh, sir. Uh, some guy named Jack arranged to meet you by this bar. Yeah, I I totally agree, Austin. The rotoscope stuff, the, the cutscenes just look so much more stylish. Uh, but again, you know, you're in the actual game much more. Then you are in the cutscenes, so to me those uh, background tracks the uh, CD version added are a bit more important. Unfortunately the CDI version has none music, uh, no music at all, not even the, the little jingles that play on the other console things. You need 1500 credits, so you get exactly enough. And for some reasons, the credits that you, uh, was that Asia? No, uh, we need to go to the bar, right? So that's America. The credits that you get in the first level actually gets taken away. What, uh, which version does the 3DO version have actually from the cutscenes? I think also these, right? And the Jaguar uses the original, but in a much higher frame rate, I think. Uh, can't get squished, right? Yep. Something I remembered correctly for once. All the elevators are gone. <laughs> Especially the uh, Super Nintendo version is super choppy in the cutscenes. Also has for some reason different sound effects and such. Kinda weird. And yeah, I totally agree. This, this game has so many versions out there. Uh, also for just any random console basically. Uh, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Sure, 1500 credits and the papers are yours. I got my money here. And I'm kind of curious if you would, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not possible, but I'm kind of curious that what would happen if you uh, hack in 50,000 credits, if you can actually get a ticket to Earth directly. I doubt it. Let's see if anything else, nope. But it would be kind of cool if they uh, if that did happen. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, go to Death Tower.
where I do need to take a very uh, small potty break. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it would be nice if we can actually get to Earth in this first session and then have maybe the remaining part for the rest because uh, I think the first three levels are probably the longest. Uh, where was Asia, right? Or Africa, I forget. No, nah. Yeah, I just, I just don't know, I forget. Oh, the thing isn't here either. What's in Europe? I think it's in Europe. Uh, La Machine, I, I actually have that for... Uh... Uh, the game that came before it, like uh, uh, Out of This World, just a game that I never got far into and never had the patience to learn it. It's so brutal in killing you all the time. There we are. Papers, please. Papers, it's just called papers. <laughs> Here's some papers. Oh, no cutscene, huh? Uh, yeah, I need to uh, take a small break and then we will go through the Death Tower, I hope, because uh, this... Uh... This place is quite brutal as well, and I've already shown that I'm not too, too great in the combat yet. Anyway, be uh, back in a minute. Here we are again, uh, sorry about that. Figured I uh, might as well give Frizo another little treat. Uh, yeah, Because um, I haven't been feeling so well the, most of the week. Uh, I keep forgetting stuff. And one of those is uh, recharging my batteries. Uh, because <laughs> I, can, I can say that because I have uh, a uh, uh, neuro... Uh, what, what was it? Mo modulator, yeah. Um, and if I forget to... <laughs> charge that up occasionally then it will get out of uh, juice and that will send me to the restroom uh, about every every hour or so super annoying um, 
But oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> Griso, you can't just eat it normally, you know. Jeez. Uh, Griso, yeah, you spelled it exactly how it's supposed to be uh, spelled, uh, Austin. Uh, but pronouncing it, I wouldn't advise you because that uh, that that's quite uh, quite a thing you need to get used to. Um, we Dutch, we like it. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's play some uh, Death Tower now and see if I can manage to uh, finagle my way through that place. Uh, because this place is quite brutal, uh, so I might need to take a trip back to the energy generator here. Uh, what items do we have? Force fields, yeah, no stones, just the force field. Okay. And there are some save points here, but they are few and far between. I think I saw a dude there, right? Yeah, there he is. <coughs> He'll come back. <laughs> First dude, and I always... There we go. You can sometimes kind of stun lock them. That only happens when they have their backs turned to you. Uh, shield. There was only one dude. There will be more. <laughs> this is not promising. <laughs> Uh oh, was it enough? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, you do need the force field equipped to actually make use of it. And this this is a TV show. It, it's very much like the Running Man. Although, if I remember correctly, the Running Man was not actually the inspiration for this. There was a. There was a French movie that was the inspiration, which has kind of the same premise. But I do not know the name of it. Oh crap, I hate these dudes. Uh, maybe they will just leave us alone. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Gonna get hit, yeah. But we need to get to the beginning of the area anyway later, so... It's not too bad to get a few hits in here. Ooh, we did get rid of that uh, ceiling mine there. Which, of course, I did not see again. Could you okay, please come in here? Yeah, it was not enough treats, so he's having a mood. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know much about the movie itself, but I, I'm pretty sure that that was a French movie that inspired this area. Uh, but it's it's very much like The Running Man too, isn't it? These these things move a bit too fast. Oh my goodness. Rizzo is going for the self-service now. If you hear something in the background. Again, he's having a mood. Hey buddy. What's up? Because now we need to go back and go to the other way. Because this area uh, loops around. If you go left, 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 you end up on the right. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, this is a tower after all, and we have to get all the way to the top. We are at level 8. And we need to get to... Was it level 1 or level 0? I don't remember. Uh, let's recharge our shield. We'll probably be back here again <laughs> very soon. Luckily, if you hit a save point and you die, you will uh, respawn 
with full shields. Is it? I did not even know that uh, it was based on a Stephen King uh, book. Hey there, buddy. Right in the mine. Sweet. Rizzo has found a piece of plastic to chew on. Great. Oh, dang it. Here we go again. Barely can make enough uh, distance there. Uh, but this... Always good to have your gun drawn out when entering a new screen. Oh boy! <laughs> I could have known that because uh, we've seen this screen before, but uh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> well, before we go there, though, let's uh, let's recharge up again, just to be on the safe side, because uh, otherwise we will need to do this entire thing again. No one wants to do that. I do believe there are some save points in this level as well, but not every level. I think every level has either a safe spot or a generator. Uh, but not necessarily at the beginning of the level, like it's here. So just to be safe, might as well. Whilst it's still close by, and now we will just uh, go for it until we figure out where the next save point is. First level complete. Q, Q. Nothing here yet. Um. There's the next elevator we need to go to. There is a turret up there, that, uh, that's something I don't like. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> we have no choice. For next week, what do you guys think of uh, having the game audio or music from the Mega or the um, Sega CD version on the actual stream, you know, to have something in the background or do you prefer it like this? Because I guess it is kinda atmospheric, but <laughs> unlike the jungle level there's basically nothing here to uh, to make a noise. Not fast enough on the draw there. There we go. There was another dude there, right? Yeah, but he can't get to us yet. But he will now. Oh, he buggered off. And he's back. Oh, this is going to be bad. Now there's two of them. There's one more, right? No, he's already dead. Okay, cool, cool. I suppose we should go upstairs. 
Last time when I went onto a new screen uh, from the bottom, a mine dropped on my head, so I just won't prevent this. What? How? I was already past it. Bye. Oh crap, I did not even see him. Uh, where are we here? Ooh, safe point. Don't mind if I do. It's good, because we are running low on health here. Uh, that's possible too, of course. Yeah, uh, we can leave it as such. Just, uh, you know, something... I, I, I'm i just... Uh, uh, where do we need to go? I just always love background music in games in general. So if there is none, it just feels so silent. But this is the CDI experience. When we get here, that dude should wake up, right? Yeah, he's right. I think this is the exit. Uh, should be safe. Might as well, so we don't have to open up this door. Uh, duck. Duck. Oh my goodness. Duck. Oh. Because he's right in front of that wall, he can't duck for some reason. That's weird. Hey there, Retro, retro Miss. How are you doing today? Great to have you. Yeah, there's no jingles here. Um, I, I'm pretty sure because the DVC is not utilized at all that uh, they only have the one audio channel and that uh, it really shows. Uh... There is one area where you have to go to the other side right away to open up the door on the other side. Is this this place? Uh, yes, it is. Like... <laughs> and we... <laughs> you can just bet your ass that I have uh, pretty often gone all the way around only to discover that... Uh, I am pretty sure this is a turret. Yes. Dang. How do you time that? Of course I have to force. Or it's just good timing, I guess. Still, you know, even as compromised as this version is, uh, seeing how it works in general for CDI is just already amazing, you know. There's very few CDI games that pull off uh, this much actual gameplay in such a good way. Well, just in the nick of time. to have another uh, safe or place of respite oh, I should have waited on that uh, my As long as they don't surround you on the screen, it's not so bad, because I don't think enemies can shoot you off screen. Uh, so, you know, if they walk past you uh, with that warpy thing, then it's no big deal if that's off screen. And you can just focus on one side. If they surround you, uh, you're, you're not going to enjoy your time. Uh, 
Is that one of those mines again? Uh, I don't know. What does this do? Oh, it may just drops the platform. That's that's no biggie. So it can be a good tactic, I think, to just stand on the corner here. Well, if he's not going to bother coming back, I'm going up. Bye, buddy! Yeah, same here. Uh, music over uh, sound effects, especially in the Commodore. Uh, you kind of have to, you know. Well, that went well. Hello there, Martin. The Hobby Lodge. How are you today? Welcome, welcome to uh, our flashback stream here. Oh, crap. I walked straight into that. <laughs> Is it still shooting? Nope. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. Uh, I've had better days, but uh, or well weeks actually, but uh, you know, uh, playing some games on stream usually does me uh, does me do good, uh, does help the spirit. <laughs> There's a lot of mines. Uh, ooh, how do I do this? If I jump here, I think I will bounce on that platform. But if I drop, I will jump, drop straight into that mine. So I think a jump from here will... There we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> is that another one of those things? I think it is. Uh, and I don't think there's much... We can do about that, maybe roll past it? There we go. It's, uh, it's sometimes it's just a bit of a puzzle, isn't it? Which is neat. Can we go up here? I don't think so. No, we need to make the, the silly run thing again. There we go. Uh, I guess you could just run over it then. Hmm. Oh no! 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 Again, just make me... <laughs> sure I don't get hit off screen, but uh, the bastard hit me anyway. Bomberman is another uh, <laughs> game, my friend. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I should have the gun drawn when I walk into a new screen, just to prevent that kind of shenanigans. Uh, if they, uh, for some reason, they can take a drop from that height and... They are stunned on the floor now, but if you move on their level, they will wake up again. So I actually want to go over here and have them just walk this way. There we go. We do need a button somewhere, but I suppose that's the button uh, on the top there. Those mines are going to be fun to deal with. Uh, there's one of those robot drone things. This is going to be fun. So now we also have this dude.
Okay, that went, uh, that went okay. Can I make this jump in one go? Yes. Oh, didn't keep my freaking gun drawn. I keep forgetting. Yeah, you come on the mine. Bye, buddies. <laughs> Is that a recharge station? Oh, don't mind if I do. Uh, how much do I have? One shield. I am not going to risk it. Uh, do we uh, even need to kill them? I mean, preferably not. Oh, yeah, we do. How am I going to... Well, there's a recharge station, so who cares if we uh, trip mine. This is not a uh, no-damage run, after all. Uh, where'd they go? Let's just try running in there and see what happens. Uh, nothing good. Not sure why the first one didn't go off first. Uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, but we can recharge our shield, so, you know, no big deal. Not sure how you're supposed to do that without getting hit there with those two mines, because they are at the you know, right before the platform where you need to jump up, so... Not sure. I'm sure there is a way, I just don't know it. Yeah, that's what you normally do. Like, you can stand in the middle here, but then you can't actually get up there, so... I'm not sure how you're supposed to do that. No, you cannot shoot the, the mines, they are too low. Oh, got a gun, just in case. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of people here. And drone thingies, oh. Would be nice if we can take them one at a time. There's a safe spot as well, that's cool. Wow, these say Whoa, boy! It's getting crowded here. And they take a lot of hits for some reason. Yeah, I don't have a stone in this uh, in this level, unfortunately. Or maybe there was one on one of the ledges. That that's possible. I did not check all the ledges. I don't have a stone, right? Nope. So that's all the those guys done. Let's uh, go up here, save our game. Again, one enemy, not a problem. A couple of enemies, and they surround you, uh, a lot of problems. <laughs> Oops, did not want to do that. But yeah, throwing a stone, that would, that does sound reasonable. Is the door already open? Seems like it's open. Well, don't mind if we do. So, head it straight up. I do think that each uh, floor does get a bit smaller, like it's a, kind of a pyramid kind of thing, I suppose. Or cone. I don't know. Doesn't matter which one. Oh man, there was a lot of slowdown there for some reason. Look at that. Oh 
my goodness, how many hits does this thing take? Doesn't seem to hit us at least, that's good. I think there's a bit too many sprites on this screen here. Jeez, are we done? Uh, actually, let uh, him come to us. We don't need to kill him. Let's leave one survivor. Is that a thing that shoots us? I don't know. Oh wait, this is the elevator. I think we are there. I think we're done. Oh, nope. Bit too slow on the turn there. Yeah, that's how I used to deal with these guys. There we go. Awesome. Good evening from the Death Tower Show. We have a winner. Allow me to present Conrad. My dear Conrad. Titan Travel is happy to award you the superb journey to Earth. And there we are. Earth. Uh, ours is our password. Uh, and I think this will be a good uh, place to stop and hopefully next time we can complete the game uh, because if I remember correctly the next couple of levels are there's four more levels but they aren't as long Frizo will you please not lay on the keyboard and press the wrong buttons <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I'm just uh, I'm just going to close off here because uh, it's uh, it's around eleven here, um, but it was really fun. I loved uh, I, I love playing this game again. It's been uh, it's been real fun. So uh, again, awesome. Uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, suggesting this one. Uh, I should also do this. Yeah, we at least got to Earth. Uh, we got uh, Kunrad's identity back, <laughs> which is the whole quest after all. That's not to eat, you idiot. There you go. Yeah, that would be fun to uh, see what you make out of it, uh, Austin. I must say, I, I was expecting a bit, uh, doing a bit worse on it, but it quickly um, clicked. It's uh, it's it's quite nice. Uh, and again, I'm not sure if this is the RGB mod or something, but the the my controller it seems more responsive ever since i did have the rgb mod on the cdi i'm not sure if that makes any sense but it just does uh feel more responsive than i am used to uh, so and i've noticed it with some other games as well where it just feels a bit more snappy uh, which you're not very used to with the cdi so that's cool uh, i hope to be back on friday with uh, the next part and hopefully we'll just finish the whole thing then uh, because we have earth and we have the alien planet uh, they call it four levels but it's kind of two different areas that we uh, that we have to go through uh, and yeah i do hope to see you guys uh, then again if you have other suggestions because friday of course if we finish the game we do need to uh, pick a new game so if you have suggestions please let me know and uh, put them in the uh, exclamation mark suggest or request thing uh, so it gets locked to the PC. Um, 
but you know we still have a bunch to go through anyway so you know no rush uh yeah hope you enjoyed this one thank you so much for joining me uh, it was a lot of fun and i hope to see you guys soon in my video your video or wherever and until then time take care the muscle